has to do, and also clearly the side of the women at the time. What is her background? Oh, what, what she was, was the daughter of the last <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah
the other thing is that, um, as I say, it's just the trivial details. My, I, I can't go on saying this again, I've said it many, many times to people, but I learnt a lot from my father, who was the founder of child psychiatry, and I've also been deeply influenced by the philosophy I read. And by philosophy, I don't mean being philosophical in heavy inverted commas. I was brought up in Cambridge in addition to doing my biology and, uh, near, and uh, you know, biochemistry and so forth. Uh, by, uh, and I took a very long and laborious course in the history of modern American, Anglo-American philosophy. My father did philosophy at Cambridge, but the philosophy that he was taught in 1810, I mean 1910, was much more sort of metaphysical. But by the time I got to Cambridge in 53, philosophy had undergone a great change under the influence in England, and certainly in Cambridge, of this extraordinary man, Wittgenstein, who just drew attention to the details of meaning, what, how we convey meanings to one another. And the, I think I've been as deeply influenced by philosophical analysis of speech and meaning and action as I have been by what I saw as a doctor watching what people did or couldn't do. Mm. 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 Mm.